Hey there again, Pastor Nikki here. Glad to have you join me again for this week's children's sermon. Today, the children's sermon is based off of a passage from the book of Job. Hear the word of the Lord. There was once a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job. That man was blameless and upright, one who feared God and turned away from evil. One day, the heavenly beings came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came among them to present himself before the Lord. The Lord said to Satan, Where have you come from, Satan? Answer the Lord. From going to and from the earth and from walking up and down it, Satan said. Then the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? There is no one like him on earth, a blameless and upright man who fears God and turns away from evil. He still persists in his integrity, although you in cited me against him to destroy him for no reason. Then Satan answered the Lord, skin for skin. All that people have, they will give to save their lives. But stretch out your hand now and touch his bone and his flesh, and he will curse you to your face. The Lord said to Satan, very well, he is in your power, only spare his life. So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord and inflicted loathsome sores on Job from the sole of his foot to the crown of his head. Job took a pot shirt with which to scrape himself and sat among the ashes. Then his wife said to him, do you still persist in your integrity? Curse God and die. But he said to her, you speak as any foolish woman would speak. Shall we receive the good at the hand of God and not receive the bad? In all of this, Job did not sin with his lips. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. I'm not sure if you can tell what this is. Uh, this used to be something useful. It was a part of a pot that held a flower or some other plant. But now, well, now it's nothing but a broken shard. Good for nothing but to be thrown away. You know, there's a story in the Bible, however, which we just heard about, in which a man found a different use for broken pottery. That man's name is Job, and he was one of the richest man in the, men in the world during his time. Job owned hundreds of animals. He had a big house, he had lots of land and a huge family. But most importantly, Job was a man who loved God. He loved God so much that Satan went to see the Lord about Job. He told God the only reason why Job loved God was because God had blessed Job so much. So God allowed Job to be tested. In one day, everything Job had was taken away. Everything he had was stolen and all of his children and family died. Job, though, remained faithful to God. So Satan Ask God to test him further. Job got sick and had sores all over his body. The Bible says that the pain of the sores was so bad that the only way he could find relief was by scratching his sores with a piece of broken pottery just like this. Can you imagine being in that much pain? Scratching the sores with, your bro with this broken pottery? Job was miserable, and his wife told him he should curse God and die. His friends told him that he probably had done something to offend God. But Job knew he had done nothing wrong. But even though, through all that suffering, Job did not sin. He did not curse God. He knew that the one thing that could never be taken from him was his faith in God. Only he could give that up, and Job refused to let that go. <clears throat> he didn't know that God would restore everything he had and then some. And God did. And Job's test was over. He just knew that God was still there and he refused to let go. You know, when this pottery was intact, it would have made a nice pot for some flowers. In the New Testament, Jesus talks about the flowers, that they have no way of making clothing for themselves. And yet God clothes them in the most beautiful colors. Like the flowers, Job did not worry about losing his possessions or even his life. Even when he had all he had to relieve his pain was this broken 
pottery. Even then he trusted in the Lord. Let us pray that God will give us the faith to trust in God no matter what our circumstances are and to always remain faithful. So when you see the flowers, the beautiful flowers, remember that God is faithful to all of us in our times of need as well.